is uh, Catherine. I am 25. I'm a receptionist for an animal hospital, and I am a friend of Sarah's, uh, the music director for Atlee Church. So uh, my name is Ralph Lewis. I um, am rapidly approaching my 50th year. Um, I'm a physical therapist here in the, um, in the Charlottesville area. I work in Charlottesville and have been a part of the Scottsville community now for almost 20 years. So have you ever done anything like this before? Really? Mm -mm. No, no. So Ralph, just to kind of start us off, how would you identify yourself spiritually at this point? I know it's kind of been a journey for sure, you, um, sure. but you know, I would say my name is Trey and I'm a Christian. Right. What would Ralph say he identifies himself right. as now? Uh, I would say my name is Ralph. I am um, exploring the Christian, uh, I'm exploring the Christian faith and um, making my way to hopefully someday be able to introduce myself as, as Ralph, a Christian. Now, would you consider yourself a believer? I do believe. I do believe okay. there is a God. I do believe that there is heaven and a higher power. But beyond that, it's kind of blurry, I guess. Okay. So what do you believe about Jesus? Um, I believe he is the son of God, and I believe he is, you know, also savior. Um, beyond that, I don't have a whole lot of, you know, okay. detailed gotcha. beliefs on it. Sure. All right. I think when I reached out to you a few months ago, my daughter um, had a car accident, and, and she actually ended up not getting a scratch, but um, totaled the car, flipped it over. I was kind of one of the first ones there on the scene. And, and you know, everything kind of goes in slow motion. And I start thinking, um, you know, it, it made me start questioning things because a lot of things happened that I think, you know, were, were they, was, was there a divinity involved in how this all played out? Because it could have been so much worse. Um, and I'm still working through my, um, my thoughts on on a um, omnipresent, omnipotent God, and that's scary to me because, as a person who um, sort of comes from a sciencey background, um, it's hard for me to to jump into that completely. Yeah. Do you believe in hell? I do. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think that everybody should go to heaven. Uh, so, so where would you draw that line? Um, you know, people who constantly, you know, treating others poorly, like throughout their entire lives and, you know, murdering and criminals and people like that who just, you know, don't care and just don't have a, a good heart. So where, where would you fit on that line? Uh, I'm certainly not at the bottom of it. <laughs> um, I, mean, I try to treat people with you know, as best as I can. Working in customer service makes things a little bit difficult sometimes. <laughs> yes, it does. It will be. I'd like to think that I could, uh, you know, be in heaven someday. You know, to go through a valley, I think uh, a valley in, in your life, meaning a place not so great, um, I think opens you up to a more acceptance of um, of other viewpoints and, and other ways of looking at things. Mm -hmm. So when my wife and I began struggling in our marriage, um, it was something for me to draw strength. I, I was seeking a place to draw strength from. And the idea of a group of people with um, a strong sense of wanting to be better people and, and wanting to be a part of a better community really drew me in. Now, do you go to church now? I do not. You do not. Why is that? I think it was just the people who were in charge of the confirmation group. Um, she was just very, very overbearing and you know, I mean, it's been 10 years now, but it just, I remember being like, okay, like, let's just get through this and let's just be done with it. And then I can, you know, kind of have, you know, my choice of what I do. And I just never went back to church. But I feel like at Atlee, at least to this point, and I, I don't foresee this changing, I'm I'm welcomed and, and dipping my toes in the pool is encouraged and I like that. And, and someday, um, and, and maybe could be this moment, <laughs> I'm, I'll, I'll make the plunge um, I, because it's a very, um, it's a, a welcoming, it's a welcoming pool, let hmm. me put it that way. What is something in, in, that we could do that would help you or people like you in your situation um, come back to church or make church a priority for their life? That's a good question too. Um, I guess if I had more people to come with, that would certainly make a difference for me. But 
I'm hoping to someday achieve the, the ultimate goal of, of being able to, to introduce myself as, as Ralph the Christian. Wow. We'll see.